How can the Bible help with depression, anxiety, or panic attacks? Yes, the Bible can definitely offer comfort if you're dealing with depression, anxiety, or panic attacks. Now, I'm not saying it's a substitute for professional help, but for many people, it can provide a significant source of solace and hope. Psalm 34, 17. 18 is a good place to start. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. It's a reminder that you're not alone. Even during your darkest moments, there's a sense that someone out there hears you and cares deeply about your pain. Then there's Philippians 4, 6, 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It's a powerful message about letting go of worries and trusting that things will work out. 1 Peter 5. 7 is also something to hold on to. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Short and sweet, it gets right to the heart of the matter, offering a way to unload your burdens. And let's not forget Matthew 11:28, 30, where Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. It's pretty straightforward. If you're exhausted from carrying your worries, there's an invitation for rest here. Up here in Portland, when the rain's coming down and the gray skies have a habit of amplifying any blue mood, these verses can feel like a cozy coffee shop. A place to sit down, take a deep breath, and find a bit of tranquility amid the storm. Remember, though, the Bible can offer spiritual or emotional support, but it's also crucial to seek help from professionals if you're experiencing severe depression, anxiety, or panic attacks. They're the experts for a reason, and there's no shame in reaching out.